Hello and welcome to the first in what I hope will be a comprehensive series of tutorial videos that explain how to use and create a project in Xcode. So the first thing you want to do is you want to make sure that you actually have Xcode on your computer. If you go to the App Store, you can just simply search Xcode and you should be able to download it for free. Um, people often ask, do you need a developer account? Um, not right off the bat, you don't. Uh, down the road when you want to actually submit your app to the App Store or test your app on devices, at that point you need to get a developer account. But for right now, you can download it and play around with it and you get quite a lot accomplished before you have to register for a developer account, which usually costs about $100 or so. Um, all right, so once you have Xcode downloaded, um, you can open it up. But before I even go in here, I want to um, talk about the strategy of developing an app. Um, I'm going to take you through the development of a simple coin toss uh, dice roll app that basically just does what it says. It you know simulates the flipping of a coin and the rolling of dice. Um, I think it's a good little app that'll show you how to get through a lot of basic features of developing an Xcode. Um, but then I recommend this for anyone who's developing any app before you even go into Xcode at all, you get a piece of paper and you do something like this. You storyboard out what exactly you want to have happen with this app. Um, the more you do here, the easier it's going to be for you to develop your app. Um, as you can see here, I have a little, I'm not the best drawler, but I have a little visual here of uh, each screen. This particular app's a small little basic one that's just going to have three screens. Um, I'm not showing really the dice one because we're going to focus on the home page and the coin toss ver um, parts of this app for the uh, first set of these tutorials. Um, but you basically here, you just want to, you want to storyboard out uh, what you want to have on your screen. I'm going to have something that says home. Um, title of the app and two buttons on my home page. I'm going to embed this in a navigation control. I'll show you how to do all this stuff. When you click on the coin page, it'll take you to the coin toss page um, where we'll have display the results here in a, in a label. Um, we'll have a little visual image of a coin. When you flip this, the coin will toss and it will show heads or tails to the screen. Um, you want to put over here as much detail as possible. And I'm going to have a coin image. Um, there's going to be a brain object, which I'll get into later. Um, you're going to have your result label, which is right here. Your um, This uh, toss coin button here is going to be an IB action. Uh, we'll go into what that means shortly as well. Uh, I'm going to have an animated sprite that shows simulates the tossing of a coin. And then the results will be shown right here. Um, so the more that you can put in here, you start getting your variable names and things like that, the easier it's going to be when you go to ha actually program. Just wanted to go over that. So let's go into um, creating the project. So in Xcode, um, when you go, you're going to go to File and, oh, sorry, File. I know you're not seeing this, but New, and then you're going to select Project this screen pops up. Um, there's all kinds of different uh, s templates for starting a project. For this one, we're just going to go with single view application. It's the most basic and bare bones and allows you to customize it as you want. So we'll hit next there. In here, you're going to see that we have um, product name. This is basically the name that will appear underneath your app icon. Uh, you can change that later, but for right now, I'm just going to put dice, click coin, toss, dice, roll. Something very basic like that. You can put your organization name. Um, and this could be anything if you're just a person. You, you can just put you know, something like that. Um, the company identifier, you know, you know, the basically the the format for this is com dot and then the, maybe the initials of your company name or if it's just you, you can do uh, MJ. 
Um, and then the bundle identifier here gets created based upon this information. And it's just a unique ID for your, your app. And this, this prefix here is up to you. You don't have to put anything in here. Um, I usually do. Uh, and we're going to just go for uh, the iPhone here. You, have, you can do iPad or Universal. For right now, it's much easier just to start with an iPhone. Uh, you hit Next. Select where you want to have this all saved. And then just go with the defaults here and hit Create. And there you go. Your, your project is started. Uh, in the next tutorial, we're going to go over how to get started on storyboarding inside Xcode. Thank you.